Hello everyone! Having a flight simulator is a must-have for every radio control pilot to improve your skill set. Follow me in this video as I detail the how-to setup for the FreeSky X20 radio to work with one of the popular real flight simulator. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thanks for tuning in. Alright, let's get going to the setup and let's power up the FreeSky X20 radio. Welcome to Ethos. Six. Okay, Six. first, for the flight simulator to work, we need to create a model binary file just as similarly to creating a regular file for our model airplane. So go ahead and click model select here and as you can see here how I organize my folders as I have different folders for my different plane EDF for my jets glider planes for my propeller plane and so on so you too can organize it to your preference but anyway let's select and create a new folder here and I'm gonna name it simulator folder Okay, now I have a simulator folder here, and, and inside here, let's uh, create a new model binary file. So here, we want to select airplane here, and hit next here, and as usual, it gives you sort of like a wizard setup to help you with select the engine one channel here, and for ailerons here, they have two channel, but let's change it to one channel here, so let's do that, and uh, select one channel here, and flap, Let's leave it no flap for now hit next and then the tail just keep it at traditional and hit next here and for the tail elevators one channel and rotors one channel and then here we get to name our file so let's name it properly and let's name it as real flight um, let's enter that right now and hit enter and for picture we can skip it and let's hit next here. So here what we create is a real flight model binary file. As you can see here, if you hit the airplane icon, uh, uh, we hit model select, we in the simulator folder, we, we create already and we have a, a, a model binary named real flight that we create. So let's go out here and see, this is what we have, right? So that's good. Okay, for the next step, let's hit the airplane icon again, and let's go into mixer here, okay, and select mixer here, and what we did is we already create this as through the wizard, okay, it gives us aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder as channel 1, 2, 3, 4, but I want to be able to change the aileron to a different channel. What we need to change it, uh, go down, scroll down here, and change the channel to channel 5 for aileron and hit yes here okay and uh, and let's go back and we change to channel 5 and we want to do the same thing for elevator here I want to change it to channel 6 here okay so let's scroll down here and select and change that from channel 2 to channel 6 here okay hit yes here right okay and the same thing for throttle, let's change it to channel 7 from channel 3 and scroll down and from channel 3 select that and change to the open channel 7 uh, yes okay so throttles channel 7 and do the same thing for rudder but change from channel 4 to channel 8 here so let's scroll down and change to 8 and hit yes here and let's go back and that's what we just did right here so to explain the reason why we need to change AETR aileron elevator throttle and rudder from channel 1 2 3 4 to 5 6 7 8 respectively is because the real flight simulator assigned the control to button and axis which equate to channel on our radio but the window joystick driver, as you will see later in this video, expose the channel differently to 5, 6, 7, 8, so we are required to do so. 
Okay, so now let's add some mixes. We want to add, let's see, uh, we're going to add free mixes here. So let's select free mix and we're going to add it to the last position here. We want to add flap and gear. So the first one, the free mix is, let's name it ga uh, flap here. So let's change here and put the name as flap. Okay, and then hit enter. And then for the active condition, we want to select and associate with a switch here. So leave it always on and the source, we want it to select switches. And for my uh, preference, uh, the switch for the flap, I want to use this button here, which is a SB3 position right here. So I'm just going to uh, toggle back and forth three times. So it select SB as uh, the source. Okay, so that's what I have here. And let's scroll down here and uh, let's uh, associate the output here with channel 1. So let's change that to channel 1 here. Uh, and select channel 1 here and hit yes here. And now I have channel one flap and it's a SB switch. Okay, so let's hit free mix back. So I have flap, SB to active, activate it and channel one. So add another one. Let's do it for gear, for landing gear. So free mix, add it to the last position here and select the name here. So let's change it to uh, gear. I'm gonna uh, short it as G-E-R, okay. And then active condition is always on. And uh, let's select the source. Uh, let's associate with a switch. And for me, I like the buttons back here. You can do any button you like. That's what I want. I want the SF button right here. That's, uh, that's what I like. And uh, I'm gonna select SF for it. Okay. And now let's scroll down and put the output channel uh, let's scroll down here, okay, and associate the output channel to channel 3, uh, channel 3 for the gear. So hit yes here, so I have channel 3 for the gear, and go back here. So as to review, we have aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, flap, channel 1, and gear as the switch SF for channel 3. So that's what we want. So let's go back here, so that's our mix. Okay, go home here. Okay, and everything looks good so far. And we created a real flight model binary file and we're good to go. So let's power down here and move to the next step. So guys, before we do, if you find it a hassle creating the real flight model binary file, as I just shown, you can contact me either through Facebook or YouTube or email and I can send and share to you the real flight.bin file. Okay then, second step, we need to verify our files and the window joystick driver. So let's go to the PC screen and in the meantime, power up our radio to bootloader mode and connect it to the USB cable here. Okay, let's do that and we should see our drive and the SD card from the radio mounted on our PC screen here. So what we have here is the X20 SD mount drive and under there you can see the model folder here. So let's click that and you see we create the simulator folder as you can see right here, right? So under there, the simulator is the real flight.bin that we created. So uh, then again, also, you know, you can just create folder and organize your plane from here too, like me. I can just create any folder here, uh, you know, like turbines instead of like uh, pressing on the radio which take a longer time so you can do it on here on the PC which is faster also okay okay and let's uh, eject our drive here so we can safely pull out the USB cable okay Okay, and then just uh, power down the radio and let's move to the next step. Okay, so in step three, we want to verify the joystick driver. So let's go to the window and search for the joystick. Enter here and bring up the set USB game controller up and it should bring up this window here. And so far right now it has nothing here. So 
go to the radio and just power up the radio as normal okay and basically plug in the USB cable here and we should see the selection here of joystick so let's select joystick here so that we can see the driver on the on the window PC here so it should pop up um, should pop an X20 um, there we go uh, free sky X20 joystick so let's hit the property here and you can see the axis and the XYZ uh, rotation and there's a couple of slider here so if we maneuver our joystick on our radio, we should see uh, the movement on the window driver as so. As you can see, moving stuff around, uh, you know, the joystick, the throttle here, it corresponds to certain slider and um, axis and rotation. Okay, so that looks good. So um, everything seems to be working. So now we can, uh, you know, move on to uh, test this on our real flight simulator. So uh, let's move on here and uh, close down uh, these uh, window dialog boxes and let's move to the next step. Okay, so let's uh, bring up uh, Real Flight here. So search for Real Flight here and bring up that app here and let's uh, open it up. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit uh, time to load it so just wait a little bit it's loading so I'm gonna skip forward so it's loading so just hit fly here and as you can see uh, the mapping is not correct yet so we'll fix we'll fix it right now so let's set, select controller and I had it as a spectrum NX before so let's configure it as um do they have a game pad here okay let's select game pad here and as you can see on the left side it's going haywire so just don't worry about it uh, we just need to uh, configure here so just hit edit here and you can see channel one two three four so let's select uh, proportional here and here uh, let's bring uh, put in another window here so we can see what we're doing on the radio to configure this Okay, here, here we go. Here's uh, what are we doing on the radio? Okay, so we need to select aileron uh, proportional and hit the Y rotation, and it give you this. So you need to move the aileron stick left and right, so then it could detect it like so. Okay, so do the same thing for elevator. Uh, you move the elevator up and down, up and down, so it can detect like so. Okay, and uh, next is do the same thing for the throttle, and you just move up and down, move up and down, so it's a slider, okay, detect that. And next is for the rudder, just select it, and just move the rudder left and right. Oops, I kind of messed up here. Uh, move left and right for the rudder, okay, so it detect that. So let's uh, do the throttle again, so fix that. So, okay, now detect the slider for the throttle and the rudder, move left and right, and there, both for slider, that's good okay then next is the flap here so uh, select proportional here and remember the button we select here is for the flap so let's uh, 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 flicker that button right there three position switch okay it detect that okay and the next thing is the landing gear and the landing gear is channel 7 as you remember so select proportional and the button is uh, I use that button up there so uh, flicker that and then it detect that so uh, we are almost ready to go so save uh, I'm gonna name this as um, you know name whatever you like I'm gonna name it my free sky radio or something like that so let's type that in and save that my free sky radio okay and hit OK here and hit OK here and let's test it out okay Okay, and let's see my plane here, and it's um, something is reversed here. 
So let's check again. So let's select the controller again. Uh, uh, no, not the scenario. Let me do s select the controller again and select edit here. And I think the throttle is reversed. So let's unreverse it and save and hit OK. And let's try it again and press space bar and the throttle. OK, here we go. And the throttle seems to be working right now. So throttle up. So it's running. OK, good. Turning left and right. I'm going to check my flap here. So OK, that's a good. Take off flap. Landing gear flap. Yeah. And check my gear here. Down, up, down. OK, yeah, it's working. The gear is working great. That's great. OK. That's so let's uh, let's try take off now okay let's take off and it's no let me check the rudder left and right look looks good yeah okay aileron left and right looks good okay uh, elevator up and down um, yeah yep okay so let's try it okay space bar to reset the plane so take off throttle up Elevator, oh no, I think elevator is still reversed. So let's reconfigure that again. Okay, so let's select controller here and my free sky radio edit. And yes, the elevator is reversed. So uncheck that box. So I think we got it now. So hit OK and OK here. And let's do some flying. Okay, let's take off right now. Okay, throttle up, up, yeah, let's do a left aileron, right aileron roll, okay, yeah, looks good, yep, yep, now it's working great, yes, let's do a roll, oh no, there goes a $4 airplane, <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's do another flight here, uh, I, I gotta do a better flight than this, and let's, Let's do one round of plane flying and then let's just land it and see uh, everything is working. Okay, there you go. It's an aileron roll, barrel roll. Uh, everything looks good. Right is right, left is left, up, down. Everything looks good. Yep, gear, flap, everything looks good. Yep. Gears up, planes flying through Eli Field. Yes. Okay, looks good. So let's bring the landing gear down and try to land her. Okay, coming in. Okay, slow down a little bit. Here we go, landing. Okay, slowing down. Need to slow down a little bit and do a turn here and coming in as a land. Landing down, slow down. Yes, looking good. Yep. So there you go. Everything looks good right here. So uh, configuring the X20 to fly to use it with Real Flight Simulator is not that hard. And I shown you everything that needs to be done, and it's proven it's working with landing gear and flap. Everything looks great. So everyone, a big thumbs up for you all if you made it to this video this far and this long. Now you know how to configure your FreeSky X20 radio to work with real flight simulator thank you for watching the video and if you enjoy and find it useful please share with friends in the rc community to help others also i appreciate it if you help support my channel by subscribing and commenting by the way always love to read all your comments and we'll try to reply asap hope to see you all at the flying field and bye now